Hey there, tennis fans. I'm James Watterson, and I've got your Tennis Now Tennis News for day two of the US Open. We've already had another huge upset, which has some pretty serious historical precedents. French Open champion Lee Na lost to Romanian teenager Simona Halep 6-2-7-5. Lee has really struggled since she won the French Open in June. She lost in the second round of Wimbledon, and she hasn't won consecutive matches until last week's tournament in New Haven. Now she struggled with her consistency, and that wasn't any different today. She had a stunning 54 unforced errors compared to her opponent's 19, and she failed to win even half of her service points. Maybe the pressure of being one of her country's most important athletes is actually getting to her. At the post-match press conference, she said that she is working harder on her game now than ever before, but perhaps it's more of a mental thing with her. With Lee out, as well as Wimbledon champion Petrik Vitova and Australian Open champion Kim Kleisters, this is the first time that all defending Grand Slam champions in a year lost it before the second round. Now, for the other top seeds, today was actually pretty straightforward. Caroline Bosniaki, Victoria Azarenka, and Andrea Pekovic, as well as Sabina Lazicki, all earned straight set wins. On the men's side, Novak Djokovic was on and off the court in less than 45 minutes as his opponent, Connor Nyland of Ireland, retired with Novak leading 6-love 5-1. Nyland apparently had food poisoning, and for anyone who has ever had it, it's actually kind of amazing he even tried to step onto the court with the world's number one. David Ferrer recovered from a poor start to beat Igor Andreev in four sets, and Florian Meyer and Joe Wilfried Sanga won in straights. And Ernest Gulbis passed what could have been a tough match in Mikhail Yuzny, the world number 15, decisively. Now in cool news of the day, 22-year-old American Donald Young made a bit of history as he became the first American to win a match on the USTA National Tennis Center's new Court 17 when he beat Lucas Lacco in straight sets. For those that haven't seen it, the new court seats about 2,800 people, which makes it the fourth largest show court on the grounds. It's a pretty intimate venue as well, as the court itself is sunk seven feet into the ground. Now after the match, Young said, it's awesome, I didn't know that. I'm just happy to win the first match and happy to be on the court, which is great. He also had a lot of good things to say after it. You can check out the article about it on our website. Now, uh, Richard Gasquet was the first player to win on the court when he beat Sergei Stakhovsky of Ukraine yesterday. Now, tomorrow should be another great day of tennis. We've got Venus Williams taking on Sabina Lazicki on Arthur Ashe, and Andy Roddick, Juan Martin Del Potro, and Andy Murray uh, will play their opening matches. So that'll do it from us. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe to us on YouTube to stay up to date with all the news from the US Open. We'll put links to everything below. Also, for uh, more on everything we talked about in today's news, check out our website at www.tennisnow.com.